Welcome to SimpleKidsCrafts.com, episode 914, How to Make Doll Sushi. Hi! On this episode, I will be showing you how to make tamago, onigiri, nigari sushi, tekamaki, gunkan, norimaki, an egg, avocado, tuna, shrimp, and California rolls. Before you start any polymer clay project, remember to clean your hands thoroughly and to knead the dough. We will start by making onigiri or Japanese rice balls. Make a small white clay ball and shape like a triangle. Give texture using an old toothbrush. Take a piece of black clay, flatten it and make a small strip. Attach the strip to the bottom part of the triangle and pat to make sure that the two pieces of clay adhere to each other. Next, let's make sushi rolls. This will be the same technique whether you're making an egg, avocado, tuna, shrimp, or California roll. Start by making a thin roll of white clay. Take a piece of black clay and flatten it. Cover the roll with black clay, let it rest for a couple of minutes, then cut into small pieces. Attach small pieces of clay to the top and the bottom. Attach yellow for egg green for avocado, red for tuna, orange for shrimp, and mix colors for California roll. To make nigiri sushi over rice, we will be using the same technique for all the rice balls. Start by making rice pads using white clay and give them texture using a toothbrush. Then, take a piece of black clay, flatten it, and make thin strips. To make tamago or grilled egg over rice, take a small piece of yellow clay, shape it as a rectangle, give a texture using the back of an exacto knife or a toothpick, place it over the rice, and then tie it together using a black strip of clay around it. Pad to make sure that the two pieces of clay adhere to each other. To make tuna over rice or toro nigiri, take a small piece of red clay, cut in thin slices and place a white and red clay together. Pull and mix, forming a tuna stripe, and shape it as a rectangle. Place it over the rice and tie together using a strip of black clay around it. Pad to make sure that the two pieces adhere to each other. To make shrimp over rice or ebinikiri, take a small piece of orange and white clay, cut into thin slices, place them together in a pile, pull and mix together forming shrimp stripes. Keep the shape of a shrimp and shape the tail Place over the rice and tie together using a strip of black clay around it. Pan and make sure that the two pieces of clay adhere to each other. To make octopus over rice or taco nigiri, take a small piece of white clay and stretch it forming a tentacle. Place a piece of red clay over it and stretch it again. Make small white dots and place purple clay dots over the red clay. Shape them into a tentacle and place over the rice and tie together using a strip of black clay. Pad to make sure that the two pieces adhere to each other. To make fish eggs over rice or gunkan, take a piece of white clay and make a rice roll. Take a piece of green clay and form a small leaf-like pattern simulating cucumber slices. Cover the rice bowl with a thin piece of flattened black clay. Cut and shape and then make small red clay balls and place them on top.
To make wasabi balls, mix green, yellow and white clay. Then, make a ball. Give it texture by using an old toothbrush. Then bake at 215 degrees Fahrenheit or 102 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes. To make chopsticks, cut toothpicks or skewer sticks to the desired size. And that's it! Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and don't forget to comment, share, subscribe and keep on recycling. I will see you on the next video. Bye!